Good morning, Mighty Muscle Garage fans. Today, I have a new review of the 2016 C300 Mercedes. Turbocharged Mercedes Benz. And this is also Silver Coupe Edition. Just a quick walk around of the car before we get into it. Alright, so let's take a look inside. Alright, let's take a look inside now. All right, this is what you see. I'm just gonna start the car real quick. It's hot in Jersey. Turn some air up. So first, yeah, you're welcomed by the... Let's guys go down. First, you're welcomed by this LCD um, screen, not touch screen, but... Uh, radio and setup comes with serious radio for like the first three months can take a look at the steering wheel it's got a nice set of grips it's very it's a very sporty stylish car and whole setup paddle shifters in the back and this only comes in um, uh, automatic so and that kind of sucks that uh, BMW has the manuals and Mercedes, you can't get that in. Man, it's hot. So over here, if we take a look, we have the dynamic sport modes and all the different modes. So you have sport, comfort, eco, and individuals, like your own setup. And you can adjust it over here to all the different, oops, that's not it, individual. You hit adjust, and You can change the way it drives. You can put the drive in sport or ego. What is this? Steering. Sport or comfort. Stick with sport. If you look over at the door panel. I mean, I, I love the way this is set up. I like the way it's all angled and set up. Nice handle. It's got the lock and unlock button right here, right by your hands. Awesome. And I like coupes for this reason. Only two switches, so you're not rolling up the back windows by accident. I like the two doors. You got your other mirror gauge and that. Then you have your um, preset seat position. Lights. Oh, those are automatic though as well. Over here we have on and off here. We all, there's also this new feature where, I'll show you, you take a look up here, oh, it's only on my side, oops, these extenders pop out and bring you your seatbelt, I mean it's not going back now, I mean, maybe if I turn the car off, let's try it out, yeah, there we go, so you turn the car on, you push this button, and the seatbelt comes to you. It's pretty neat. That I like. That's pretty neat. Sound system in this car. I am actually not sure what that is. Bert, what does it say? Burnster. Burnster? I might be mistaken. That's what it looks like it says. It's in script. I can't really read that. All right, let's take us to the drive. Start. We're going to put it in sport mode because why not all right safety first but let me buckle up all right and here we go
All right, I'm back, and here's the review, the test drive. My first overall remarks about the car was I love the exterior, and I like the way it's all cut up and designed. It's very sleek, very like aerodynamic, the way it's, the car is cut up, and like the angles of the car as well. And first of all, right now, from driving it just down the street, I mean, I, the steering is very, it's kind of spongy. The steering is kind of spongy. Uh, but I kind of like that in the, in the Mercedes versus like a BMW where, it, where the BMW steering is, is more tight. It's more, it's more of a firm feel. This Mercedes, I mean, as you can see, it does like, it's spongy. It doesn't really, it doesn't respond as well when I turn, but it, it is pretty responsive, but I like the way this feels, especially this, this, uh, these handles and grips and in, in the steering wheels. Oh, they're amazing. I'm gonna take it on some better roads and go a little quicker. In, in like a residential, actually like a business area where people will shop it. <clears throat> yeah, so we are in sport mode now. And when you do get on the car, I mean, it does, th it does throw you back pretty decently in, in your seat. And if you have the windows down, you can hear the turbo spool up. And, and that's the most wonderful feeling in the world. I mean, when you hear boost kick in, especially. That's why I think the, the uh, C63 Mercedes is going to be, uh, the new one is awesome, just because it's got a V8 bi turbo on it. And anything with a turbo is just awesome. I'm gonna get on it a little bit. And man. Oof. Once you get into these uh, boost, this whole boost range at like three, four thousand RPMs, I mean, this car likes to kick up. Like, it, it kicks in at three, four thousand RPMs. It's not the fastest thing I've ever driven, but <clears throat> this car is pretty fun. I'm sorry about that back there. I went over all the speed bumps like a million miles an hour. <laughs> We're gonna make it right up here. I mean, I'm impressed. I'm pretty impressed. I love it, and I love the way the interior is on this car too, as well. I like the whole the leather. Everything's leather. It's not like an old like like the Mustang that I drive now. It's all everything inside's all hard plastic. I mean, other than this, this is hard plastic but it's like it's nice it's got a nice finish to it and it's saw uh it's glossy and this is all this is nice it's just, i just like the way the whole car is set up overall it's awesome how do i get out of here here we got the satellite radio there we can see if we make this I have some launch control my foot on the brake some wheel hop we did get some wheel hop in there yeah, this thing this thing kicks pretty a, a lot of ass yes I like the way these turbo spool up turbo spool up I mean boost just seeks to amaze me it's fun sure what the price range I think I would say it's in like the 40 40,000 price range to start off maybe a little less maybe 30 something maybe 40 right around there depending on where you live and, and where you go especially for the 2016s that's what I that's what I would guess them in about that's where it's at <laughs> not bad and obviously it's not a first uh, first car you'd get for your for a kid but I do enjoy this car and I like the way it drives and handles. It would be an awesome first car, but the price range, I mean. What college student's got a uh, 40 grand in their pocket? I mean, you got loans and all that. Um, 
got a lot of traffic here from where I'm at. Oh, just listen to it. You could, you could hear the turbo spool up. Right when you hit like 3,000, 4,000 RPMs. Oh my god, it's so fun. That's such a good feeling. Oh man, and the steering too. It's very, it's respond. It is responsive. I like the way it handles. Kind of a lot of body roll though. That's my one downside for this car. There's a lot of body roll when you turn. If I was to turn hard, I mean that's not really any car. But I'm saying is that if you turn hard, the car does have a lot of body roll, and the transmission's weird in the uh, in this uh, sport plus mode. It's pulling. I like that though. It's fun. It kind of feels like I'm driving stick shift. It's got that whole uh, <clears throat> pushing in the clutch and all that. All right, so this is my review of the 2016 C60. I always say C63, C300. Sorry. Yeah. I'm gonna hop out and show you. Go around one more time. Alright, awesome guys. I'm glad, I'm um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe more to Mighty Muscle Garage to see the next episode and whatever else I decide to do. Maybe a car review, car parts, whatever. I also have another the Mustang and that's gonna come back up on the channel again sooner or later. So thank you for watching.